makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So this video is going to be another three looks with one palette and today I'm going to be using the Ofra Bright Addictions palette which just looks like this. I recently got it and I was super inspired. I love all these bright matte shades so I wanted to do some looks with it. I've almost used every single shade so I will do a review soon but if, for now if you want to see the three looks then just keep watching. So for this look, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this midi shade right here, which is really pretty, and I'm just going to go ahead and just, wow, put that in my crease. It is pigmented and bright. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that. Let's build it up and blend upwards. I'm going to go ahead and take that color along the lower lash line as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the purple shade right here, which is really pretty. I'm just going to pack that on this little tiny crease brush. This is one of my favorite brushes ever. This is the M506 from Morphe. And I'm just going to put that in my crease just a little bit lower down. Okay, that color. I'm going to add some more onto the brush. There we go. I'm going to take whatever is left over on the brush and just kind of gently blend the edges. I don't want to take this color up too high, but I definitely want it to be a gradual blend. I'm going to go in with that previous brush and just blend. I'm going to go ahead and do another layer of that color just because I want it to be really, really pigmented. So I'm going to add that a little bit lower down. And then just go ahead and take whatever's left over and blend upwards. Blend. I'm going to go ahead and take just a touch of that purple on my pencil brush. And just put that on the outer third of the lower lash line. I'm going to take a touch of the mint shade. And just kind of intensify that on this part right here. Because I really want that mint shade to have its little moment. So I decided to add a pigment into this look just because the palette is all matte shades. So today I'm going to be using the Dawn Ix Cosmetics Mystical Pigment. It just looks like this. It's kind of like a purple, blue, green duochrome. It's really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush and just apply that all over the lid. Because this pigment does have like a, it's like a purple base and a green shift to it, it's really easy to just kind of tap into the matte shades and it just looks really blended really fast. So that is the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face and I'll be right back to show you the final look. So I also went ahead and added House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes. I did the Ardency and Eyeliner in the shade Jade in my waterline, which is a really pretty pop. Um, of color and then also my lipstick today is a ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Sure Thing. So this is look number one. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the orange shade right here. I really want to use this one just because it's swatched so horrible. I just want to see how it applies. So I'm going to start that off in my crease. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this color compared to all the others. Like, I don't understand why it's so bad. Feels like this particular shade was pressed too hard. So I'm just kind of building that up and then I'm going to go ahead and just blend out the edges a little bit. Yeah, I feel like that shade is blending a little splotchy too. I'm going to go ahead and move on to a different shade. I'm going to go ahead and take the dark red shade right here, which looks really nice. And I'm going to take it on a much smaller brush and I'm going to throw that into my crease. And voila, we've got some nice pigment. Okay, so once I have the shape mapped out that I want, I'm going to go in with the previous brush and just blend the edges of that. 
I'm going to go ahead and take that same shade on a pencil brush and just bring it all the way around. And now I'm going to go ahead and dip into this brown shade right here with my tiny brush. And just going to put that on the outer V just to deepen it up just a little bit. Wipe the excess brown off of that um, brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take the P. Louise base in 0 0.5 and I'm going to cut my crease. So just like always after I cut my crease before I go in with my lid shade, I'm going to go in with some of the previous shades I've already used. So I'm going to go ahead and take that bright red and I'm just going to stick it on the outer V and kind of just blend in. This red is going to blend in really pretty with the lid shade that I'm going to go in with. Go ahead and go into the brown shade again. Just to deepen that outer V, I accidentally got concealer on it so it looks really funny right now. Hopefully I can fix that. Also, before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and take that dark brown shade and I'm just going to throw that on my lower lash line on the outer third connecting. So for this look, I'm going to go into a separate lid shade, and this is Dose of Color Sizzle. It's a beautiful red sparkly color. just looks like this. has so much glitter throughout it, and I just, I feel like I want to do this for this one palette, three looks video, because for an all matte palette, I typically would not do an all matte eye. I would normally include other things. I will make sure that my last look is all matte and just using the palette, but for this one... I'm going to go into this beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow, and it works better with your finger, but I'm going to go ahead and do a brush first just to kind of get some mapping, the mapping out because it is a cut crease, and then I'll go in with my finger to intensify. Okay, so you probably could have done this look without cutting the crease. Seems a little pointless now since the crease color is actually a little bit lighter than the lid shade, but that's fine. Uh, we live and we learn. So I'm going to go ahead and take just a little bit on my finger and just throw that on top to intensify it just a little bit. Okay, so last but not least for the eyeshadow portion of this look, I'm going to go ahead and take the Dream Glow Kit from Anastasia. And I'm going to take the shade right here, which is called Regal. kind of has like a coppery reflex gonna pick that up on my brush and I am gonna spray my brush just a bit because I feel like it makes makes the inner corner so intense it's definitely worth worth a spray or two and I'm just gonna pop that on the inner corner I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to show you the final look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I went ahead and added House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes. These are just my absolute favorite. Um, just some quick black lighter. And then on my lips, I am using the NYX Cosmetic um, Lip Pencil in the shade Beige. And then on top of that, I am using the Flower Beauty... What is this called exactly? Galaxy Glaze Holographic Lip Gloss in the shade Soleil. So this is look number two. Okay, so for this final look, I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with this blue shade right here. This is like a super bright cobalt blue, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that... Ooh, that's pigmented. I probably could have gone in with a smaller brush in my crease. Okay. Then you could just stop right there, and you belong in the 80s. So I'm just going to lightly blend that out. I'm going to take my powder brush and just kind of get rid of any fallout from that because there was just a tiny bit. But that's partially my fault for going in with such a big brush for such a bright, crazy shade. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wipe off all the extra product from that brush. 
and I'm going to blend out the edges. I don't mind that this color is going pretty high because I'm going to go in with some deeper shades and a crease and then I'm going to cut it so I really do want this color to be a little higher that way you can really see it. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the black from the palette and I'm going to be putting this on my outer V all the way into my crease and I want to kind of build this up and make it pretty, pretty dramatic. So I'm not even worrying about blending it, I am just getting the color as dark as I want it, just building it up right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and again, this is my new like favorite blending technique. I just get rid of all the color that was on the brush and I just go ahead and blend out the edges. I am blending a black so I might have to go back and forth between the blue and the black. I might add more blue just so that that stays really um, pigmented gonna do small little windshield wiper motions so that blended out super easy actually I think you could definitely stop here and be happy I think I'm still gonna go back and forth and add a little bit extra um, of that really bright blue just because I want it to be a part of the look but the black is nice Just gonna go back in with that previous brush and blend it out. Just gonna wipe away any fallout. There's definitely some fallout with that blue shade. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a pencil brush and just catch my lower lash line up to my lid. I'm gonna start off with the bright blue shade. Just take that along the entire lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the black shade on that same pencil brush and I'm just going to go ahead and basically put it along the entire lower lash line as well just because this look is more on the smoky side and I really like the color that the black and the bright blue are making together. And then I'm going to take that same brush just because it's so precise and I'm going to go in with more black and I'm just going to stamp that on the outer V part just to kind of get the exact shape that I want. Now the fun part begins for this eye look. I'm going to go in with the P. Louise base and I'm going to cut my crease. And then I'm going to take that bright blue again and I'm going to pop that in between the black and the concealer. That looks so, so pigmented. It's crazy. And I'm just going to blend that just a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this mint shade right here and I'm going to put that on this half of my lid and just pack it on. That is so pretty. Shade onto this part right here, and I'm just gonna kind of tap between the light blue and the dark blue so that they just blend together really easily. Go ahead and add just a touch more of that bright blue. Just want this to blend perfectly, and I want it to be a little bit brighter. So just going back and forth. So oh, there is how the eyeshadow is looking so far. I think it looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off my makeup and I'll be back to show you guys the final look. So this is the final look. I went ahead and added House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes again. I know you're probably tired of seeing these, but I love them so much. Um, I just added a black liner all around. I added the Essence Nude uh, Cosmo Lighter. just looks like this to my inner corner, and also that's the highlight I have on my face. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera the way it looks in person, but it's a really pretty green duochrome shade, and if you have texture and you want to use duochromes, I definitely recommend the Essence Pure Nude Cosmo Lighter and the Pure Nude Space Lighter. This one's more pink toned because they do not show any texture at all, but they give a really pretty colorful glow. 
And then my lips are just the Flower Beauty Lip Pencil in the shade Nude and the Ulta Beauty Tinted Juice Infused Lip Oil in the shade Passionate Peach. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.